Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn how to consolidate perimeter and area. Now, in math, when we talk about consolidating perimeter and area, we're really talking about clarifying. And to clarify perimeter and area, we have to solve for them. Now, let's say we have a rectangle. Well, the perimeter of a rectangle is all the lengths of the sides added together. So let's say these two sides are 4, and these two sides are 6. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 6 plus 6, which is 12, would be 20. So the perimeter would be 20. And the area is length times width, so 4 times 6. So area equals 24. Now, if we have a square, all the sides are equal. So let's say it's 3. 3, 3, 3, 3. So perimeter would be 12. And area would be uh, 9. So sometimes perimeter is smaller than area, other times perimeter is bigger. Uh, the other thing though is that the perimeter, perimeter is a one-dimensional length going around, whereas the area is square units because we're actually covering a full surface. So I'm Charlie Kasov and you just learned how to clarify or rather consolidate perimeter and area. Thanks a lot.